Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Colo. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so very much for joining us. And if this is not your first time, thank you so much for coming back. So, my hair videos seem to be one of my most popular ones. And today, I felt like, you know, going through the process of an actual hair mask. As of lately, I haven't been taking the best care of my hair. And I've just kind of been leaving it away. As a matter of fact, I just took my wig off today and took down my cornrows. And I really haven't washed my hair in like three weeks. So, my hair is feeling very dry. It's feeling kind of brittle. So, I wanted to do one of the most popular hair masks for moisture, for cleansing the hair, and for kind of revitalizing the hair to get your hair back to ground zero. And that, my friends, is the Bentonite Clay Mask. So today we are going to be trying this out together. I have not tried the Bentonite Clay Mask um, before, however I have watched a ton of videos on this. The Bentonite Clay Mask is a combination of Bentonite Clay, water, and apple cider vinegar. Those are the three big ingredients and you mix these in specific ratios in order to come up with a uh, consistency which you are most comfortable with for your hair type and what this mixture does is purifies your hair helps to restore the pH balance back into your hair helps to moisturize your hair helps with adding shine back into your hair and overall just helps with improving the health of your hair to kind of get things back to a nice and neutral state for this video today for my own hair I am going to tweak the recipe just a little bit. I'm very big on adjusting things to fit your own hair type, your own hair. What works for somebody else may not necessarily work for you. So for me, I know that my hair, with, with my hair type, I need a lot of moisture and I need to focus on my ends, on my split ends. Um, so I have decided to add in both olive oil and black Jamaican castor oil into this mixture in order to really help boost the moisture within my hair. So without further ado, we're going to get started. But before we do, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy and to subscribe to my channel down below. Let's get started. So for our recipe today, we are going to need bentonite clay. Bentonite clay removes toxins and excess oils from your hair, restores shine and replenishes your hair with essential minerals such as potassium, calcium, and even sodium for healthy hair growth. You're also going to need apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has antibacterial and antifungal properties that help to combat dryness, itchiness, dandruff, and helps to balance the pH level of your scalp. Water for mixing and diluting. Black Jamaican castor oil helps to moisturize and strengthen my strands while targeting my split ends. And olive oil to help condition and nourish my hair while helping with frizz maintenance and shine. You will also need a mixing bowl and a spatula to go along with this. It is important to make sure that you do use a plastic spoon for this mixing as a metal spoon will actually react with the bentonite clay and vinegar. I'm also going to be pouring in about two tablespoons of olive oil into this mixture. Two tablespoons of black Jamaican castor oil as well. So now this is the right consistency for me. And I'm happy with the amount of product that I have. Now it's time for us to go in and actually apply the product. So I will not be applying this product onto my hair dry. I'm actually going to get my spray bottle and I'm going to get a towel so that we can go ahead and part our hair and put this product in. Taking some more of my water, I'm just going to pour that into my spray bottle here. I'm first going to start by parting my hair into a few sections just to make it easier with this process since I don't usually like using combs in my detangling process or when I'm applying conditioners to my hair.
I am making sure my hair is really, is saturated enough with water for this process. Next, I'm going to grab a bit of the mixture, rubbing it between my hands like so, and I'm going to just paint it onto the hair. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is, it's very interesting because at first it feels drying, but yet it's supposed to do the opposite. So it seems like what's happening is the bentonite clay is sucking up because my hair feels very dry again. It seems like the bentonite clay is sucking up the water as I add it onto my hair. I'm also going to take a little more and make sure I really do place this onto my scalp. Reason being is because we are trying to clarify our hair. It's kind of bringing out some texture shots here, which is really nice. my hair looks really cute like this do you guys think this is what I'll look like when I'm old and gray what I am a huge fan of right now is literally like the texture I'm able to see I'm really able to to see my natural curl pattern so the entire process for putting the hair mask on actually took 15 minutes so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the rest of the product on for about 15 more minutes and then I'm going to go rinse off and we'll see what our hair is feeling like wow okay so I am fresh out the shower and oh my god my hair feels so unbelievably soft and what what is really so shocking about this product is the how it really has gotten my hair back to its natural texture like look at how beautiful my curlies are they're so cute but my hair is so so soft i do not recommend using a comb in your hair while you do while you do this i do think that this does get your hair clean um i mean just from parting my hair and looking at it I think I need to rinse the front out a little more you can definitely use this as an alternative to traditional shampoos um, especially with the antibacterial and antifungal properties of the apple cider vinegar and the Aztec clay actually pulling out the act the, the toxins from your hair I'm really really happy I finally gave this a shot because wow this my hair really needed this is like so cute. I'm here for this. Like look at all this amazing texture here. I'm gonna go ahead, wash my hair and deep condition my hair. And then I will just braid it, um, put it into plaits so that we can see what my fro does look like in the morning. So I can definitely say my hair does feel fluffy and soft. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I have to say, I am very, very impressed with the results of the 
Indian healing clay my hair definitely feels so soft and the amount of volume I have in my hair right now is unbelievable all I did was use a little bit of the wild growth hair oil put it in my hand in order to take down my hair and my hair it was so manageable I have no leave-in in my hair I have no oils whatsoever in my hair and my hair feels so soft and so conditioned and I 100% believe it's because of this mask now for full disclosure I did go in and shampoo my hair I did use the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair, the cleansing cream shampoo. It's sulfate free. I also did go in and deep condition just because my hair um, has been lacking a lot of moisture over the last three weeks like I mentioned. And for that I bought this pack of a deep conditioner at the beauty supply store and it's the Amla Legend Rejuvenating Ritual Moisture Remedy Conditioner. In hindsight I'm probably won't use this again or it does contain mineral oils and i don't i don't really like that for my hair for my natural hair thank you so very much for watching this video if you did enjoy this video do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below hit the notification bell so you can be updated whenever i do upload a new video and if you would like to see more content like this, do let me know down in the description bar what else you would like to see, what other products you would like me to try, what other hair masks, or what other products I use personally that you do want to know of. Until next time, stay blessed and stay golden.